Hello! No, I'm so weird. Why am I so weird, Megan? Why? You should just start talking and then start filming so you're not like talking and then yeah. filming. Yeah. Is it filming right now? Yeah. <laughs> just like this. Just like this. Getting some tips from Megan. Anyway, hi guys. We're in Baltimore, or as Megan likes to call it, Baltimore. 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 Baltimore! Hi, check out this collection of beer <laughs> Megan is trying to organize. I brought just a couple treats. Just just a couple. We're heading to some breweries around here, so we wanted to not go empty-handed because Megan is a great planner. She brought beer. Me, I did not. I'm a bad person. Mm, this is backlit. We go this way. Woo! For those of you who don't know, uh, Megan brews at Modern Times. I'm just trying to show you, but it's like my big arm instead. <laughs> she brews at Modern Times, so she brought a whole bunch of Modern Times beer to give away to our friends here that we're going to make. Right? We're going to make lots of friends. All the friends. All the friends. We have this really cool hotel room that faces the harbor. Let me show you the view. First of all, how cute is this little couch on the window? And then our view is the harbor. There's probably bodies in there. I'm sorry, what? There's probably bodies in there. I want to go home. You're making this place sound scary. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she's joking. Right, Megan? Totally. She's joking. Okay. It's kind of an overcast day right now. We're hoping the sun will come out tomorrow. It's around like 5 o'clock now, 4, 4.30. We've been in... Baltimore <laughs> for the last like two hours we were just waiting for our room to get ready so we went to the fitness center and did our makeup and washed ourselves and did our hair now we're just trying to gather our stuff and head over to a couple of different breweries we're gonna be checking out Guinness actually um, they're the reason we're here where I'm working with Guinness and I got to bring along Megan so she can show me all the cool spots and we're gonna be hitting up some breweries around here so it's gonna be a really fun few days I am so excited to take you guys along I got you to drink some beer <laughs> it's raining our first stop is at suspended oh this place is so cute Beer at Suspended. We're gonna take a quick tour with Josie, who's the head brewer and the only production worker back here. So, pretty much their only full time employee, as you said. So, yeah. we're super excited to check it out. What beer are you drinking? Uh, it's a Lorian. It's a oak fermented English mild. I was not reading the board. <laughs> <laughs> what do I have? It's a barrel aged something. What is it? I know. Abby Double? Yeah. Is that how you pronounce that? Double. Double? Yeah. Double. And I started out with a 9% beer, like the smart lady I am. <laughs> What's yours, like 3 or 4%? Um, something, something pretty uh, light and sessionable. Yeah. Smart people. That's me. Yeah. Well, let's get our tour started. Cheers. So on the cellar side, we're five barrels. On the hot side, we're two and a half barrels. Uh, it's funny, we're actually giving you the right take on one day. Uh, so it's two barrel work capacity, but it's 80 gallons. So uh, essentially, I'll be able to carve up like a little under two and a half. And how long have you guys been open for? We're about to celebrate a year in March. Okay, Josie, what are we drinking? West Coast IPA. On the East Coast. <laughs> I can't even find these on the West Coast anymore. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Of course. It's so good to have you. Are we drinking all the same thing? Yeah, yeah. we're all drinking the same thing. It's a hybrid. Uh, I guess it's a hybrid pour. So we have wonderful friends that make wonderful fermented products, Hex Kombucha. Oh, I guess Hex Ferments. And then this is their kombucha. It's a ginger kombucha. And then we mix it at the tap with uh, our wit beer. So yeah. it's super refreshing. Like it's got like this like nice gingery like zestiness to it. 
Yeah, you know, funny enough, I use a little bit of uh, lemon peel. Yeah, I definitely get that. <laughs> I use uh, a little bit of coriander and some black pepper just for complexity, just to try to be somewhat true to uh, the whipped beer style. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel like the, the kombucha, just maybe because the volumes this year too are so, so much higher that it teases out a little bit of the lemon uh, yeah. in a way that I don't get it when I'm drinking the base beer. Um, you keep mentioning you're a community brewery. What does that mean for someone who's not familiar with the term? Yeah, so we make and uh, sell 100% of our product here in our own four walls and our own roof out of our own taps. And part of that is to make sure that people are having a good time with beer. A lot of places, uh, you know, when you when a brewer lets go of a keg, I mean, that's, it's out of your hand. Uh, unless maybe you have a wonderful distributor who treats the beer really well and is really going into each account and making sure the beer is handled properly and that draft systems are cleaned properly and glassware is proper and there's no noxious detergents or odors or lipsticks or lip gloss or anything on the glass. Uh, we go through painstaking measures to make sure that the beer is true to brand uh, and that again, that we can serve our community. We have community meetings here all the time. We celebrate birthday parties. Uh, we've had people get married in the space, wedding receptions, bridal showers, I mean, work promotions anything you name it, e even cross-fertilizing other businesses, uh, you know, that's that's really important to us. And so, even with the kombucha, right? Like, yeah. That's a prime example. Exactly. Uh, and, you know, it's a no-brainer because it's a wonderful product, but uh, it also helps to diversify the menu in a way where we can offer just straight-up kombucha. And then again, if, you know, we're very creative. All of the people who work here love to mix the taps and they come up with wonderful things. I encourage people to try everything. There's a lot of people that come in and say, like, I'm not an IPA drinker. Yeah. So, I challenge them and I said, well, explicitly because you said that, I think you should try the IPAs that we have. Oh, the people say, I don't like dark beers. And I say, that's what I like to do too. I, uh, I have people who say they're not beer drinkers, and I'm like, let me prove you wrong because. Um, I just feel like it's, you know, there's so many different kinds of IPAs. There's like floral IPAs, there's exactly. citrusy ones, and I just, I feel like it, maybe you don't like floral IPAs. And exactly. Or when someone says I don't like beers, it's like, well, what have you had up until this That's point, right. right? There are so many different styles and flavor profiles that just because you've been exposed to mass-produced beer doesn't mean every beer tastes that way. Right, and that's the wonderful thing about beer, right? I, I love other fermented beverages, I really do. I enjoy wine, I enjoy spirits. But beer is the most complex fermented beverage on the planet, and I'll stand by it. Right, we have more primary ingredients than any other type of beverage. You know, the more you understand it, the more you can manipulate things to sort of create new and wonderful products. You know, we have sour beers, beers with different types of acidity. We have beer, you know, beers with, you know, big, bold, chocolatey, roasted flavors and we have you know all of the IPAs and like you said it is kind of a junk can category right it's like saying I always tell people saying that every IPA is the same is like saying every sedan is the same and clearly a Maserati is different than a camera <laughs> you lost me there oh I got that analogy yay people are like what kind of car do you have I'm like I don't know it has four doors <laughs> super stoked that, to be able to come back to my hometown and the industry that I love so much is like booming here and there's just incredible breweries propping up and like it's nice to like make friends and like those places as well and to bring you here and show you everything that I love about Baltimore even if I pretend like I hate it. <laughs> That's how you know you're a true Baltimorean. Yeah. It's like everyone, you know, if you're from Baltimore, you get to hate on Baltimore. But only because it's like, you know, teasing your brother. I was just like gonna that. say, like, I would tease the shit out of my brother, but if anyone touches him, I That's will right. murder yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. You so, know. yeah, I got it. I got it. Well, Thank you. Aww. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, you guys. order everything on the menu. I really want that duck confit flatbread, for sure. I was looking at the veggie flatbread. Ooh. What are you ooing at? I had chicken, but there's like curry and cauliflower puree. Good. We have the cheese and a charcuterie board, the scallops, uh, the duck confit, flatbread and then I have some oysters and Megan has like a sensible person one order of something instead of five things. <laughs> and a little mini beer. 
What is that one? The oh. All right, our third stop for the night is gonna be Max's. Heard such great things. Megan's really excited to take me in. It's raining and it's cold. We're back in our hotel room. I got my new hoodie or crew neck sweater 
from Suspended. We had such an awesome time there. I would totally be wearing my sweatshirt too, but I don't want to twin with you right now. <laughs> <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> we would be matching, but I think for our first night, we did a really good job. We didn't get too drunk, so we can have a good day tomorrow, not wake up hungover. We went to Suspended. Uh -huh. um, Max's. Max's. We went to Guinness to have dinner. I ate half the menu myself. <laughs> I was hoping Megan would help me, but I eat meat and she doesn't. It so. was gone before I could blink. So. <laughs> I was hungry. <laughs> and then we ended up at the Elk Room, which is a nice, cool little speakeasy. Actually, it's not little. It was the biggest speakeasy I've ever been to. Mm -hmm. Not to make it sound like a gigantic place, but usually like places like that are super small. This had quite a big space and it was really interesting we had some cold drinks now it's 1 30 a.m we're exhausted we've been up since 4 30 our time ready for bed now i'm gonna take my face off and try to sleep and <laughs> I'm just gonna peel that face off like that <laughs> you creep <laughs> if you like this video please like it it's supposed to help us out a lot and if you want to see more, subscribe to this channel and definitely check us out on Instagram is Beer Carb, the girl with beer. You'll see all our travels and extra footage there, the things that didn't make it into this video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.